and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. What time is it? It's pick yourself a wizarding career time because this is my Owls Readathon TBR. Now I'm filming this on the 8th of April so I'm aware that I've already missed out on a little bit of Owls Readathon time. However there's one book that I'm about to finish and it's going to count for one of the prompts. The Owls Readathon is an incredible, incredible readathon created by the book roast i will link her um channel down below it sounds amazing if you watch booktube you'll be aware of it whereby she creates a booklet of different wizarding careers that you then study for in april for your owls um and then you can study for the newts in august i believe and there's a whole different series of prompts based on what wizarding career you want to be now never sure what I want to do. Last time I did this, I did this last year, I decided I wanted to be an aura, then I wanted to be, <laughs> I wanted to be an aura, um, and then once I'd finished being an aura, I thought I'll become Minister for Magic. This year, I've decided on three careers that I am interested in, um, and what I will do is I will study the, uh, the, the subjects for those careers, and then when I go to newt level, that's when I will, uh, that's when I'll, I'll decide what I want to do. So similar in a way to the, how the school system works in the UK, is that you study for a variety of things and then you niche it in for your A levels. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So the three careers I'm interested in are, first of all, culinary sorcerer i mean of course i am basically food excitement like that says the traits you need here are creativity taste ability to improve upon feedback david do you think i've got the ability to improve upon feedback yes oh you actually think i do i think i don't take feedback very well but hey well if i'm going to be a culinary sorcerer i need to um the next uh, uh, career i'm interested in is librarian i love books i love reading love quietness um so i feel like librarian would be a good career for me for that i need to be knowledgeable brave adventurous and resourceful all things i think i am would you agree yes what did i say Saying about being resourceful. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then the last career I'm interested in, which is quite similar, actually, to that of a librarian, and that is a trader of magical tombs, so a bookseller, basically. And for that, you need to be eager to learn, attentive, calm and thorough. Do you think I'm those things? Yes. Thank you. He was just saying yes, anyway. What was oh. you unsure about, calm? Uh, yeah. I think I am calm when it matters. Yeah. In, in the same way that I feel like my bravery comes actually, out. Actually... I wouldn't even say, I'm, I don't know if you are that thorough. Mm, thorough might be a problem. Yeah, thorough is a problem. <laughs> thorough might be a problem. Yeah. But hey, I'm, pre I'm prepared to give it a go. So the exams that I would need to, um, to, to study to get, to get one of these careers, um, there's, a, there's a whole host of exams that I need to have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight exams that I need to take in order to then pick one of these as my um, as, well, as my career. Um, so I will work through the prompts behind the exams that I need um, and tell you the books that I'm planning on reading. So the first one, um, if, for, for, that, for the career of librarian or trader of magical tomes, um, I need the, um, the, 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 I need the qualification, what do you call it, the owl, I need the, the exam in ancient runes and the prompt for that is a heart rune, heart on the cover or in the title. So what I've decided, and this is going to be touch and go if I'm actually going to be able to do this, what I've decided is that I would like to re-listen to one of my favourite books of all time, The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. I, I read this a few years ago, absolutely loved it, it's one of my favourite books ever um, and I thought, I've, I've been meaning to revisit it through audiobook and now is the time for that so i'm going to do that the reason i say is it is going to be touch and go whether or not i can do it it's 21 hours long um and uh, i listen to the majority of my uh, my audiobooks when i'm driving home from work and um because it's easter weekend this weekend so it's a long weekend i'm working from home next week um uh, so the, 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 i'm gonna have to find some time to, to listen to that so 21 hours but the heart's invisible furies that is the book i will be reading for ancient runes the next one for the career of librarian and culinary sorcerer i need arithmancy and the prompt for that is magical qualities of number two balance opposites read something outside your favorite genre so um in in the um 
In the spirit of my earlier April TBR, I was talking about um, what, I'm, what I'm doing over on Instagram is getting um, my, my viewers on Instagram to, to pick the next book that I'm going to read. So these two books that I've got for the prompt of arithmancy are both outside my favourite genre because they're both women's contemporary fiction books, which is a, a genre that I really, really do not get along with. However, I recently read a book by this author called Grown Ups, and it was one of my favourite books I've read this year. Really, really loved it. So uh, before the library closed, I went to the library and picked up two Marion Keys books. The first one being The Break, uh, the second one being The Woman Who Stole My Life. Um, so I will ask my, um, my, my um, Instagram mates um, if they would pick one of these and I'm about to go and put that up on Instagram in a minute actually so if you head on over to my Instagram I'm at Lauren and the books um, I will uh, I will ask uh, you guys to vote for for one or t'other of those and that will be uh, again both big books so I've, I've got a lot of reading to do in quite a small amount of time how many days are there in April January February March April 30 so I've only got 22 days to get all this done I can do it I can do it I believe in myself uh, the next uh, um, examination I need is in charms and that's for a uh, culinary sorcerer or trader of magical tombs I need a charms um, and that's uh, Lumos Maxima white cover so this has got chips on the cover god I had chips today I love chips so much what would you say is my favorite food David chips chips I just love chips but this is primarily a white cover this is a proof copy of big girl small town by michelle gallon um it is uh it's um about myella o'neill i believe it's set in ireland because the audiobook is uh, narrated by I, oh god i've just seen a, the, you know the worst swear word you can get i've just seen it in here as i did it uh, it says here stuff myella knows god doesn't punish men with a bald with baldness for wearing ladies knickers banana flavored condoms taste the same as nutrition shakes not everyone gets a volley of gunshots over their grave as they're being lowered into the ground Tenants is mank, Smithix is the business. She doesn't like periods and PMS. Stuff Myella doesn't know that she's autistic, where her dad is, where, where her dar is, where her ma drinks, why dead kittens float but live in one sink, and why people marry. So, yeah. Oh, David tro uh, looks troubled at the, that kitten statement. Upset. Um, but that will be the book that I will be reading uh, for, um, uh, for Charms, white cover white cover there. Uh, the next one uh, for librarian, just for librarian I need Defence Against the Dark Arts um, and the prompt for that is uh, Grindelow's book set at the sea or on the coast um, and I've picked a book that I've previously read many years ago when I was on holiday in fact and loved um, and that's Lorelei by Laura Dockrill. Now you will know that I loved Big Bones by Laura Dockrill, another one of my favourite books um, and I'd like to revisit this having read uh, Big Bones and loved it um, but this is set in Hastings which is a um, a town on the coast here that David and I have visited a number of times. We actually stayed there for David's birthday one year. Um, and uh, yeah, it's about an extraordinary mermaid in an ordinary town. And you're following Rory, um, who lives in the town, um, who discovers Lorelei, uh, a mermaid who washes up on the shore of Hastings. And I really enjoyed it the first time around, and I feel like I would really enjoy it again. So that's that. Uh, the next one is Herbology. Um, and if I want to be a culinary sorcerer, I will need Herbology. And the problem for that is Mimbulus Mimbletonia, title starting with an M. Um, so I've picked Motherhood by Sheila Hetty. Now, this was sent to me by Lena um, over at the channel, Lena Norms, um, whose channel I love and who I love Lena. And we were talking at the, um, we were talking at the Women's Prize shortlist party last year. God, remember when we used to go out and see other people? Um, and uh, she was saying about um, um, this book that she'd read about motherhood. Now, uh, don't, this is no secret. Uh, David and I don't plan to have children. And um, she was saying about how amazing this book was. And I was saying, well, I just don't feel like the book Motherhood would appeal to me. I'm not somebody who wants to be a mother. And she was like, no, 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 you must read this. It's amazing. It's about like not being a mother. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading that. And I've been meaning to read it for a long time. So that's that one. Uh, the next one is History of Magic, which I will need to be a librarian or a trader of magical tomes. Um, and um, that is, uh, the prompt for that is Witch Hunts, books featuring witches or wizards. Now I am at the very end of the mercies so i'm on page 295 and it's 336 pages so about 30 pages left until this is finished this is about witches in it so this counts um i will go over more about this in my wrap up but bloody loved it think it's brilliant um so that that that's almost that's all but done that's all but done um and then um potions i will need if i want to be a culinary sorcerer um and the prompt for that is shrinking solution books under 150 pages um and david's mum for christmas got me anne frank's diary the graphic adaptation now i've never read anne frank's diary 
I can't believe it. Um, and uh, this is literally just under 150 pages. It's 149 pages. Um, so yeah, it'll be a great opportunity to um, to read this and to, uh, to to have a look at it in graphic form. It looks fantastic. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. And then the last qualification I need is Transfiguration, uh, which I need um, if I want to be a librarian or a trader of magical tomes. Um, and that is Animagus Lecture, books or series that include shape-shifting. So this is another one that I've already started and that is the audio book of, and I, I can't be certain <laughs> that this has got shape-shifting in, but I really, really feel like I remember it. And that's the audio book of Beadle the Bard. Um, this recently came out on Audible. Um, it's been narrated by um, a whole host of um, people who have starred in various um, uh, Harry Potter things over the years. So uh, in the um, in the, the, the stage play, uh, in the films, um, in the um, the the new films. What are those? What are the new films called? The new Harry Potter films called? Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Uh, so it's got Jude Law, who, for instance, was in that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's only an hour and thirty six minutes lo uh, long. And um, Audible were doing, if you ordered, if you pre-ordered it, you got it for free. Um, so it was a free audio book that I got from Audible. So very, very pleased about that. Uh, I started listening to it today. I've listened to the introduction, um, which is narrated by actually the, the, the actress who played Hermione in the stage show we went to see, Noma. Um, and uh, it's the introduction. Um, I, I listened to that today. And that has got shape-shifting in it because I believe one of the the, um, the 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 stories is called like Babbity Rabbity and the Something Stump. And I think the stump transfigures into something else. If I remember rightly, or there's a there's a cauldron that transfigures. I'm sure there's some sort of transfiguration that goes on there. So that will be that. So those are the books that I plan on reading um, in order to get my owls in the month of April. Got a lot of work to do because it is the 8th of April. But as I said, I'm going to finish the Mercies today. Um, and I'll probably finish um, the uh, Beedle the Bard by the end of the week. It's the other longer ones that I'm going to have to work harder at. So those are the plans. Um, I hope you're really well. Let me know if you're joining in with your owls. Let me know what careers you were interested in. For me, culinary sorcerer librarian trader of magical tomes um and uh, yeah i'll decide when it gets to my newts which one of those i'm gonna follow at the moment i feel like culinary sorcerer just because i'm bloody starving we've got a delicious dinner of aubergine and lentil pie tonight it looks amazing doesn't it, it looks so good um so yeah that's it for me and i'll see you all again soon for another witchy video goodbye